Hey folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Iron Man 2 comic series, Classic Ironmonger Action Figure. This uh, figure set came out uh, toward the end of the summer of 2010, and I found this set at a Walmart uh, for about $8. As you can see here in the packaging, uh, this is the uh, comic uh, version of Ironmonger. And uh, he's got the original blue going on here. It's a... Uh, very interesting uh, and he also comes with the uh, figure stand and the uh, overlay cards on there pretty big guy uh, I guess no room for accessories so taking a look here at the back of the package you can see here a description of the iron monger and a nice a clean version of the Ironmonger figure. Uh, this particular uh, Ironmonger looks like he's been uh, through some battles. There's a lot of weathering on uh, the figure itself. So very interesting that uh, this one's nice and clean. Uh, the other figures here we have uh, from the Iron Man 2 line. We have number 32 uh, Iron Man Advanced Armor. Number 33, Iron Man Arctic Armor. And number 34, the Iron... Why does it say Iron Monger there? That's interesting. It's supposed to say uh, Iron Man Silver Centurion. So that's a little bit of a typo there. All right, uh, let's... Oh, and uh, this is number 35 in the series. Let's go ahead and uh, open this guy out of the package, and we'll be right back. Alright, uh, we have the classic Ironmonger out of the package. Uh, first thing uh, we'll take a look at are the few accessories that come uh, with the figure. First up, uh, we have the overlay cards, which uh, are basically two clear cards and a uh, solid card. Uh, each card having a portion of the armor and a portion of the code. And when you overlay the cards on top of each other, they form the complete armor and the complete code. It's kind of neat. Uh, it has a link to the Iron Man card website, but the last time I checked, which was about five months ago, uh, it just redirected you to the main Marvel website, so I don't know if it's still active. I'll have to go check, <laughs> but I doubt it. <laughs> it is active, but... Still, uh, it's kind of neat that they, ha they include these. A lot of people don't seem to like them, but I think they're kind of neat. So, And uh, we have here uh, the display base. Uh, it comes with every Iron Man 2 figure. And it has a single peg here where you can place the foot of the figure on. And you have the groove slots here where you can place the overlay cards on. And... Uh, this is a standard size uh, base, so when you place the Iron Monger figure on the uh, base, it really dwarfs the base uh, in size comparison. So, that's kind of neat. Uh, on to the classic Iron Monger figure, and I really like it. Uh, it's interesting, uh, I, I love when... Uh, Molds are actually reused and uh, they add little things here and there where uh, the end result is a brand new uh, character or figure altogether. And they did that uh, with the Iron Monger. They basically t took the um, uh, Hulkbuster uh, mold and just added uh, little things here and there. The uh, torso, the legs, the arms are all Hulkbuster, uh, but they uh, change the head, the shoulder, the hands, the feet, and they added these uh, pieces of armor on the forearm and calf. And you have an, and repainted it, and then you have a new uh, figure altogether, which is really, really cool. Um, there are some misses, uh, like right here, this collar piece that goes underneath the, the head here is an unpainted piece of plastic and it's loose and um, it just doesn't blend well. 
with the rest of the figure. I wish it was either uh, glued down or painted. Uh, the shoulder here is just slightly different color than the uh, the rest of the armor. It's, uh, it blends better than the collar does though. So that's uh, another thing there. But overall I really do like this figure. Uh, you got these, uh, they added these, uh, or replaced I should say, these arm guards. Uh, the Hulkbuster had a an arm guard here, but uh, what they did is uh, on this Ironmonger's, it's like a wrap around on here, and uh, you can see um, the gap in there. But it, it still it fits nice and snug. Uh, it does move when you want it want it to move, but uh, it's it's nice and tight in there. It's even tighter on the uh, leg one here. This one's a wrap around as well. But uh, it's it's very uh, neat, and I'll show you when I compare the uh, Hulk Buster with this figure on there. Very uh, neat figure. I really do like it. And uh, this guy is uh, actually pretty big, and uh, we'll do a size comparison just to show you uh, how big this guy is. Yeah, we have here the, of course, the Hulk Buster, and you can see that. Um, the Iron Monger is uh, bigger than the Hulkbuster. I think it's because of the re-sculpted feet and of course the head which is a lot uh, higher off the uh, shoulders than the Hulkbuster is. Uh, we have here the Crimson Dynamo to show for size comparison there. Uh, if, you can, if you can stand that is. There we go. No, he's still not standing. There we go. There's the uh, Crimson Dynamo. I don't have an Iron Man from the comic series, but I do have a Marvel Universe Iron Man on there, and uh, I do have a movie series uh, Mark II to do a size comparison. And you can see that uh, Iron Monger is a pretty big fella, which is really, really neat. Especially at the same price point as the rest of the Iron Man 2 figures. It's uh, very neat. Uh, for the comparison between uh, Iron Monger and Hulkbuster, you could see uh, once you got these guys next to each other that uh, they share the exact same mold for the chest and uh, tor a lower torso area, even the arms and the legs. But uh, with these wraparounds, you can see uh, you got a different, different uh, arm guard altogether. You got the wrap around with the cable. That's kind of neat. And even for the legs, here let me just get a different grip. You can see that uh, Hulkbuster's leg here is pretty angular and uh, it narrows down uh, to the feet. But with this wrap around uh, armor here, it looks like a totally different uh, leg altogether even though it's just a simple piece of plastic uh, going around the leg there. It's very neat. Oh, and you can see here on the back, it's exactly the same right here with the circular pattern. Uh, they removed the exhaust ports though, and it's repainted as well, so. Nice reuse of the mold, that's for sure. And I, I, just, I just like this figure. Uh, going over the articulation, uh, the head does go all the way around. Uh, it's a little stiff with the uh, collar on there. It's, uh, the collar is uh, pretty tight but movable. Which I just wish they glued that down though. And the arms uh, do swing uh, forward, down, and back. They don't go all the way around because of the uh, shoulder armor here. But the, uh, the arm does go out and in. Uh, the arms bend at the elbow and they do rotate but uh, it's uh, pretty difficult with this piece of armor and the cable so you don't really want to move it around too much. The hands uh, do rotate and if you work at it they do go all the way around. The torso uh, does go side to side a little bit and up and down a little bit and it uh, does uh, rotate to the side but not all the way around. The legs are on a uh, ball hinge swivel joint, so the legs can go up, uh, down, uh, very little to the back, and if you move the ball joint, it can go out to the side. Uh, the legs are joined at the uh, hip joint, 
uh, and can go all the way around. And the uh, knees are double jointed, which is nice. And the feet uh, can go up and down on a ball or a hinge swivel joint. Uh, very little up and down, but it does go all the way around. Overall, uh, I do recommend this guy because uh, for the same price as a regular Iron Man figure, you're getting a lot of plastic, that's for sure. And uh, a reused mold where it ends up being uh, a unique uh, figure. I really do uh, like this figure. Uh, but this is my uh, casual peek into the uh, Iron Man 2 comic series, uh, classic Iron Monger. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.